All right, Steve French did a video on things that he's done around his shop to make it more efficient, um, keep track of things and, you know, such. Uh, I've done a few things around here in mine. Uh, one of the things I do is I use a shower curtain. It's attached up there like so. I need to make a frame or something to hold it better um, so I can run longer board. Over here, it's just attached by a magnet. And then the thickness planer just sits on top of it. Oh, um, stay, stay. <coughs> when I when I'm done with that, I take and I empty it into this box uh, as much as I can. Uh, since I'm doing this with one hand, I'm using my other hand on my phone, I'm just gonna let it drop on the floor. Now this brings me to my next, uh, I guess, idea, whatever. Anyway, uh, when I got this shed, my boss actually gave me this shed to work out of. It is a 12 by 16. He just wanted it off the premises at work, so he gave it to me. And for whatever reason, on both sides there's a 4 foot section that is 4 inches wide that has no plywood or anything in it. I was going to close it up, but then I had an idea and I just sweep all my trash, my my shavings and stuff down into the hole. Um, this side of the shed actually sits up off the ground probably about two and a half feet or so and Actually what I have in there As you can see is a tote that I sweep everything into and Once a week or when it gets too full I empty it Now the next thing I do because I have a really bad habit of losing my glue uh, misplacing it I made this holder out of uh, couple pieces of PVC. This was a straight pipe that I cut a 45 on and then glued it to make a 45 <laughs> a 90 degree angle. Um, and then I took this the elbow, cut off the elbow piece, the corner piece of it, put a piece of plexiglass so that way if I put my glue in there open, I'll see it, which I have done. Um, and I have another one over there. Another thing I do, because the walls are not finished on the inside, just took a piece, a couple pieces of scrap and uh, nailed them to the, to the studs to put little offcuts, little pieces. Okay, now over here, um, uh, a few months ago, I made this to hold the screws that I use the most. See, it's numbered, so that way I could remember which was which. Uh, I found it more useful for holding junk or, you know, things that I reach for a lot. Uh, like, my nails for my, uh, Nail gun, caliper, you know, just random, random stuff, pencils, pens, markers, just anything, tape. Uh, another thing I did, and I did this not long after I saw Steve's video on making a, making a clip for his tape measure, I had an old latch laying around, and... That's what I use. Sometimes I use it to hang a cord off of. Another thing I do, since my workshop is small, I don't have a lot of space for doing, uh, for like work surfaces, so I can do glue ups and you know such. I usually use my table saw and then this is how it ends up looking. Uh, I can't stand that. Uh, so I end up using my miter station and that's how it ends up looking and yeah so 
Typically, I do them on, on the long part of my miter station, mineral oil. Uh, if, if the pieces aren't too big, you know, I can put a couple of the clamps on them, I'll hang it. Just got some little S hooks and uh, clamps have the hole in the end so that way I can hang them up. So that way it gets it out of my way, it'll dry, and I'll take it down and, you know, it gives me room to do whatever else I'm doing. And really the last thing I have is a little storage spot for my jigs. Uh, it's just a couple pieces of plywood, um, glued and screwed together, a couple pieces of conduit, and more of the S-hooks, uh, some of my dent, like that one, so that way the sled will uh, hang in there sideways, like that. Um, my little mini fence, you know, things like that. I could put almost all of my jigs in there, keeps them out of my way, keeps them all in one place. Keeps them off the floor so I don't step on any more and break them. Um, and that's about it. Um, there's really not much else to uh, to look at, but that's what I got. Uh, one more thing, and they do work, but you got to use a piece of scrap wood with them. Battery cables. Uh, make really great clamps for small pieces but you can see I've drilled holes in it I just haven't cut the piece of wood to put in there I was going to rivet it but then uh, I remember this wonderful stuff called epoxy so yeah I work at a junkyard and I can get these all day long so yeah.